Hey guys, I'm Avi How To here, and today I'll be showing you the built in audio filters in IV10. So, the first thing I need is an audio source clip. So, what I can do is I can make a voiceover by pressing the V key, and I can quickly make a voiceover. One, two, three, test. One, two, three, testing. So, now I have an audio source file, so I can go now to the filters tab right here. By the way, some earlier iMovie versions may have an adjust button right here, and there you would get to the setting. So, since this is only an, he's an audio, there's no video effect highlighted, so we're just going to select where it says audio effect. So, you have a bunch of different audio effects you can choose from. One, two, three, test. One, two, three, testing. So that's like the normal one, and there's actually a bunch. I can just play them through them, through them all quickly to see how they all sound. One, two, three, test. One, two, three, testing. 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 One, two, three, test. One two three test. One two three test. One two three test. One two three testing. One two three test. Okay, so those are all of the um, audio effects you can do. So all these can have different uses. Some of these can just add a different mood to your video. Pitch down, pitch up can fix audio problems. Or if you want to modulate your voice, you can do that. If you want ex add extra v reverb to your video, let's say you shot in a small room and you want to be have the illusion that you're in a large room, you can use one of these effects to help the video. So overall, it's a pretty good one. feature to have, especially since they're built in. You don't have to go through any, any audio processing program. So that's basically the audio filters built into iMovie 10. Thank you for watching this iMovie tutorial. If you liked this video or thought this video was helpful, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.